Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. Today we're gonna compare the Canon M50 and the Canon T7i once again. You've been many to ask questions on my past reviews, so that's why I'm doing a new video, but this time I'm gonna go further in my appreciation of both camera, and also I'll make more tests, and we're gonna pixel peep the results. So let's dive in right away. So the first difference we see between those two cameras is the size and how they feel in your hands. The M50 feels more like a travel camera, something very little, especially if you're using the kit lens, uh, the 15 to 45 millimeter. Uh, it's, ma it's all made uh, of plastic. Although the image quality is very nice, um, it feels more like a toy than a professional camera. Uh, for the T7i, it's a lot bigger, the grip is better, and it feels more robust in your hands. But if you are using it on a tripod, and that you are controlling it uh, with a cell phone or a tablet, um, the transmission is a lot slower. So if you want to use it, uh, the T7i, remotely, um, think about it because over the Wi-Fi, the image will glitch and lag, so it's not very fun to use it like that. With the M50, uh, the image is almost uh, real-time, and, well, I can show you a, a tiny bit. Okay, there's a delay, but at least the image does not stop and freeze. For other differences, the M50 gives uh, CR3 files when you want to shoot RAW. So it's not all the softwares that support CR3, although you can download a free software from Adobe to convert them into PNG and retain all the data.
One last aspect to consider is that the M50 has a special mount for lenses called EFM, and the T7i has a standard EF mount that can receive EF and EFS uh, lenses. Um, it's not a big deal because with the M50 you can buy an adapter and fit some EF lens on it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm using uh, the M50 with the adapter, the speed booster, which uh, has a lens in it that will get more light. So I'm at f2.0, even though the lens is uh, f2.8, the 70 to 200 uh, G2 from Tamron. But the thing is, the M50 is so small, if you want to use smaller lenses, EFM lenses, we're not sure if they're going to produce a lot of them because they turn to the EOS R and the RP and now R5 and R6, which all have a new mount for R lenses. So that's one thing to keep in mind. If you already have EF lenses and you want to buy the adapter for the M50, that's fine. If you have no lenses, uh, if you want to have a camera that is very light and portable for uh, travel, some of those lenses, the EFM lenses, might be difficult to buy over time if they stop to produce some. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications, put questions and comments below, and of course, share my videos. It's always a great help.